Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the little Toolkit RC P200 mini desktop power supply. Power supplies are very useful in the RC hobby, especially for hot wire cutting. Oh no, I'll uh, talk a little bit more about why in a little while. Traditional power supplies are like this, monstrous big heavy things that weighs about five kilograms. Uh, the packaging of this one is even smaller than the entire power supply there. Uh, so let's have a look at it. It's a AC 100 watt, DC 200 watt, USB-C 65 watt, tiny little power supply. There it is there, look at that. That is just incredible compared to this one here. How can it be so small? Well, it's due to the amazing gallium nitride technology. So gallium nitride uh, replaces silicon in the power transmitters. It means the power transmitters can be more efficient, much smaller, and can handle uh, heat a lot better than silicon. So the overall size of the power supply can be made a lot smaller. Also in the box, we get a little uh, quick start guide, and you can download a manual from the website, of course. Uh, you also get a USB-C connector there for firmware updates and a USB output. AC power cable in a variety of, variety of plug types. Banana plug connection to go in there and bulldog clips. And you can also have DC input and a couple of uh, unterminated wires there to connect whatever sort of connection you want on the back of it. Now, hot wire cutting. With a hot wire cutter, you have a resistive wire, so that's not a conductive wire, it's a wire with some resistance. This particular wire that I use is uh, it's about 40, it's about 90 pound or 40 kilogram breaking strain fishing wire. Uh, with a resistance of about 5 ohms per metre. I have two hot wire cutting bows, that's the short one there, and the big long one there. Same wire, uh, and it has the same current requirement, 5 amps for each wire. Because I have two different lengths, they require two different voltages to supply that 5 amps. Now the way I get around that is to use a 4S battery, 4S LiPo, uh, or 16 volts to supply the big one, and a 2S LiPo, or uh, 8 volts to supply the little one. With a constant current power supply, you can set the current maximum current at 5 amps, and then just increase the voltage until you get 5 amps, basically. So that means no matter what length of wire you have, no matter how much resistance in the piece of wire, it will always keep it to 5 amps maximum, which is perfect for cutting. So you just have to make sure the voltage is enough to supply 5 amps and then I don't have to worry about what voltage is being used. Uh, 5 amps is the requirement and that heats up the wire enough to cut nicely. So let's have a look at the operation. I've plugged it in. Yeah, push, and push the power button once to turn it on. And you basically uh, push the current button down here to set up the USB output options. Adjust the scroll wheel here, uh, and this gives you the maximum current output. Uh, I'm wanting five amps, so we'll leave it at that. And adjust the voltage scroll wheel here to adjust the maximum voltage. Uh, and then you just push the voltage wheel, the right wheel, to actually get it going. Stop again. And you can see the little graph here shows uh, the voltage readout. And uh, you can see it takes a while for the voltage to decay. Voltage readout here. Time, watts and milliwatt hours there. Push and hold the right button, the right scroll wheel, and you get into the setup settings. S voltage step, current step curve time uh, lowest input, lowest DC input, safe temperature, backlight beep language, theme style, change from black to white or black to dark, uh, re factory settings and there's the firmware version. 
So it's basically ready to go now. So I'll plug in my small hot wire cutting bow and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I have some uh, longer leads specially made up for my hot wire cutter. I've clipped the ne uh, positive and negative on there. Plug them in. Make sure I have it set at 5 amps maximum, which I have. Put that up there for the moment. So once we've hit the button and it's fired up, we have 5 amps maximum current, and it's showing that we need about 11 volts to uh, get that 5 amps. And I'll show you that's cutting beautifully. Perfectly for this little bow. And we can turn it off one-handed. Stop the current flow and uh, let it cool down. So now I'll switch to my big bow without changing anything, keeping that on 5 amps or... There we go, 5 amps. So with this one, positive, positive over there. All right, so I've got my big long bow, push the button, and that's gone up to 16 volts and supplying the right amount of current. It's telling me I need a little bit more voltage to get to 5 amps. Alright, so I'll dial up the maximum voltage a little bit. Till we get up to 5 amps. There we go, 5 amps. And there we go, that's a nice amount now. You can see the uh, usefulness and the versatility of a variable current power supply. Great stuff. So there you have it, the little Toolkit RC P200 adjustable power supply. Super, super mini size. Very simple to use, very versatile, very useful. Thanks for watching.